This is the build we've done inside of the Be Quiet Silent Base 802 window wide a couple of, of weeks prior. We've used a 12900K and a Gigabyte RTX 3070 Vision with some random ASRock B660 motherboard underneath, a steel legend if I remember correctly. Yes, I know B660 bought 12900K, long story, but it works, wants to just to, you know, test stuff. On top of all of that, we had the Be Quiet Shadow Rock 3 that is supposed to be cooling the 12900K. What we did find out is that yes, it is cooling it, but uh, it is really just cooling it and nothing more. We have around 94 to 96 degrees C on the package. Let's take the high number 96. When we replace the front panel for the air airflowy one, uh, it dropped down to a max of 93. Now those are really really bad temps, I do know that. So what we are going to do today is really max out the case, just see what the Shadow Rock 3 can do if we give it as much help as possible. And for this task I gathered all the quiet fans that I was able to come up from, from uh, gathering them from the silent loop. This is my old editing rig, we have the light wings we use on the silent loop. And this is a Be Quiet Silent Wing 2 15RPM that is so dusty and it is coming from some old PC of mine which I probably had when I was way younger but uh, uh, maybe we will even use that in some way or another. Now before we begin, yes, those are two crucial ballistics white RAM sticks right next to each other and no, my parents are no siblings. The board has two broken RAM slots which is why I was forced to put them like this. There is no other way around. This is not a performance testing build, it is just a, uh, a temperature testing build so please don't kill me for that. Okay, to start everything off, by default a um, Silent Base 2 will come with three of Be Quiet's Pure Wing 2 fans. So we will start off with uh, three Pure Wing 2 140mm 1000 RPM quick fans. The thing is this, 1000 RPM is really not a lot. Uh, by default we'll have two of them in the front and one in the back. And my idea for this is to start off by using the light wings. Those are spinning at 2500 RPM, they are so much quicker, they push so much more air. And to give you an example, this is for uh, if you use it on the on a uh, silent loop, so the water cooler, um, you will start off with these Shadow Wing 3s. And replacing them with these give, already gives you quite the performance bump. And I do know that a Pure Wing 2 in the front, used as a case fan, let's say, uh, pushes way more air into the case, that's true, but the Lightwing does it with way much more force. And my idea here is to push the air with force into the, into the fan that is spinning on top of the CPU. Now if this forced way of, of doing it will actually serve any purpose, because in the, in the end the limit will still be the fan on top of the, of the CPU cooler, then we cannot change anything about that. We can just make it easier for the CPU cooler to, to do its job. Plus, of course, we will not throw the fans away, we will repurpose them on another place, because right now we are running just three fans plus the CPU fan, and we will max out the case until the very end, and just see how far we can go. Um, on a very short side note about the case, because, you know, if you, if you use the case over and over and over again, you discover little things that you uh, previously did not discover. One thing that I just discovered right now is that I am able to remove the original fans with a full rig installed. I, from behind, I can unscrew the screws, remove the fan, no problem. And believe me, that's something that not every case is able to do, not, not, even, not even close. Two fans out, let's put in the light bulbs. And of course, I kind of forgot about that, uh, we will add RGB now, uh, which is something the case did not have prior. The only thing that is really annoying at this point is the fact that I do not own light wings in 140mm form factor. That way I could have filled out the complete front with 3140 light wings, which would be even greater than what I'm doing right now, but you know, you need to work with what you got. Okay, that's already three and probably a lot more cooling power. Uh, so for the original 
uh, pure wings that were pre-installed inside the silent base, including the one in the back, I thought because they are spinning at solely uh, 1000 RPM, I will put those in the top of the case because like exhaust is like the, the least uh, least amount of like force that you need to, to, to have to be able to do the job. Of course, given that the, the case is not made out of solid freaking uh, aluminum, then at that point every like position is a, a problem, but uh, inside this case this is perfectly fine. And of course we're using the mesh top, not the solid top, so I'm not, not playing around here. Okay, all three pure wings mounted. The cable management is basically just pulling on the cables for a second. Uh, now coming to the back fan. Um, for this one, I initially thought about going with that old ass fan that I found. Uh, however, thankfully, uh, I remember that I have those Silent Wing 3 high speeds running at 22 RPM from the Silent Loop. Now the reason I really want to go with a quick fan in the back is that theoretically you can use the Shadow Rock with a dual fan setup. I won't do that because on the ca in, in this particular case those two fans will basically be squished one against the other one. I'm going to do is just install this one in the back which is basically like three centimeters uh, behind the, the Shadow Rock in this case and this will also be perfectly fine. It will also, uh, it, or its static pressure will help to cool down uh, the CPU. Oh, I hope so. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this is where we are at for now. We have three light wings in the front. We have the three original uh, pure wings. Yeah, pure wings 140 running at 1000 RPM in the top. And we have one uh, shadow wing 3 120 high speed in the back. And of course, uh, no, this is a silent wing and this is a shadow wing. Damn, I have every type of be quiet fan inside of this build. A, a light wing, a shadow wing, a pure wing. Ah, uh, damn, okay, again. A silent wing, a shadow wing, a pure wing and a light wing. I have every be quiet fan inside of this case. That's kind of cool. Okay, with this setup, let's try it now and see how, how high or how low it will go. Okay, about half an hour, 40 minutes pass, and we have some results. So, uh, first off, we hit the usual thing with uh, CPU-Z, the, the stress test, and let it sit for as long as possible. There, the CPU, now with the new setup, hit, never hit more than 90 degrees C. So, we already have a 3 degrees C improvement by adding those three light wings in the, in the front, uh, moving the pure wings in the top and adding another fan in the back by using a shadow rock, which is, you know, not a lot considering the 12900K that sits underneath this thing. What I did not say in the beginning is why we never added something like Fermark to hit the GPU. The reason for that was the additional load on the CPU that Fermark was creating. Yeah, it is a, a, a GPU benchmark test, but it is still putting some load on the, on the CPU. Uh, in addition to that, it creates overall heat inside of the case. And what did happen is the CPU, the CPU hit 100 degrees C instantly. So we just never included it because the temps were just way too high. Now we were able to do so. Of course, the CPU became hotter. It reached yeah, 98 degrees C, which is like this close to thermal throttling in, in, in the case of an Intel chip. And the GPU was set, uh, or its fans were set to 80% of the max speed. And this let the GPU hit 82 degrees C, which is hot considering, and the CPU was way hotter considering. But compared to the instant thermal throttle we had before, this is already a lot better, given it is not perfect, still not perfect. However, we still have three of my shadow wings left. And if you've seen the pure rock, uh, the, the, uh, damn, pure shadow silent, I'm so confused with the naming scheme. If you've seen the silent base review, I've talked about the fact that there is some sort of a hidden 
uh, mounting for uh, for fans in the bottom behind the power supply, which is like never used or never even mentioned anywhere in the manual. And that pissed me off. What I wanted to do, and that's the reason for this video, I will install two of my Shadow Wings uh, 140s down there. And on top of the PSU shroud, I will do what Be Quiet was supposed to do in the beginning. I will put two of my Silent Wing 3s on top of the PSU shroud and then add that last little Silent Wing 2 that I found laying around somewhere too. So we have a total of three. And then we will have a counter of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 13 fans, 13 Be Quiet fans inside of a single case. That's pretty cool. Wow, this was fun. Hell of a ride. So instead of using um, the leftover shadow silent wings, oh my god, I will never get the naming right. Uh, instead of using that old ass fan that I had lying around, I had enough space to use the Shadow Wing 3 140 normal speed 1000 RPM. Yeah, it doesn't fit perfectly fine, but it fits. Uh, of course, none of these three fans in the top. Uh, on the t on top of the PSU shroud are screwed in. This is not a feature that Be Quiet did uh, build into this case. However, as I said in the review, I think they should have. Instead of that one really, really ugly fan mounting, this is what should have been happening for, you know, max performance. Having it run like this, only on the CPU, the temperature dropped down to 88 degrees C. That's compared to before uh, that's another 2 degrees C lower, or compared to the very first uh, test that we made that had 93 on the package, we are now 5 degrees C below that using a Be Quiet Shadow Rank 3, which is definitely not built for a 12900K, but we made it so. And that's really freaking cool. However, the main advantage of uh, this monstrosity that I built in here uh, was for the GPU. Adding the GPU to this one final test allowed the CPU to rise to 94 degrees C, uh, which is now 4 degrees lower than without those 5 fans in the bottom. That's hell of a lot, but most importantly, the GPU dropped down to 75 degrees C, which compared to before without those bottom fans, 7 degrees C lower. 7 degrees C, that's hell of a lot for a feature which definitely should have made it into the final case. What the hell have I built here? <laughs> so for the question, how far can you push a silent base 802 window or non-window? Well, the answer is pretty freaking far. You can make a cooler which was not built to cool down a specific CPU, push it so far that it is built to cool down a specific CPU. However, still, please don't, don't. Dude. This would be a, a, a perfect setup for something like a 12700K, uh, even something like a, a 5900X, which is considerably cooler than a 12900K. That should still, this should still work for that, just not the 12900. Uh, that's the, the above the limit. A bit lower should be alright, but not this one. But okay, I hope you enjoyed this monster of a ride. If you want to watch something else, uh, have a look at the dedicated review, that will go a bit more deep into the case. Uh, again, a huge thank you to Be Quiet for providing us the case. A lot of the fans, actually, not all, some are from my, you know, time before doing YouTube, but uh, yeah, a lot of Be Quiet fans in here. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.